Shalom. First and foremost, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Wakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honors to you, brothers, that are pushing out this truth all over the world. All right, more proof. All right, that America is in a decline. All right, the Lord is destroying this place financially, destroying the infrastructure, you know, the mor morality of the people. All right, so this, t this article goes into it. The title is nearly half of young adults in the U.S. are living at home with their parents and all that saved rent is fueling a luxury boom. All right. Now, whether that's true or not. All right. And I'm talking about, um, you know, this whole luxury boom. But I can tell you this. People are, you know, young adults. They are uh, uh, moving back with their parents. All right. Because the recession that we are currently in. All right. Great Depression. You know, it's definitely, definitely on the way, all right? And the article goes into that, all right? But this is an attempt to what? Save money. Life is harder for you. The elites have turned it up on you, all right? I remember before, you know, going back to, you know, the 50s, 60s, all right? You know, a man was able to take care of his whole household off of one job. Maybe he worked in an industrial plant, all right? He was able to send his children to college, you know, take care of all the bills. The wife, she stayed at home. She did, you know, household duties, all right. And then the elites turned it up on you, man. You know, they, you know, the whole feminist movement, you know, they pulled the woman out the house, put the pants on her. Now she could go to work. Now she could get taxed. You see that? Now she's feeling like a man. All right. A hey, scripture said a woman should compass a man, you know. Yeah, and these elites, they understand that, um, you know, also it will cause confusion. All right. And it will break down the society as a whole. All right. Now, um, now, with that, you know, the man and the woman is working, you know, then you have the children, you know, especially if you hit like 16, 18, you know, you get a job and you help out the family. You know, that's pretty much where we're at. You know what I'm saying? The man, the woman, all right, and the young adults in the house, they have to work. Now, a lot of them are moving back in their homes now, moving back with their parents. So, you know, to pay bills. You know, money saved, but a lot of these people, you know, you're not preparing for what's to come because this money is useless now, man. You know, I mean, it's still relevant. You know, let me let me say that. But as we speak, these nations, they're they're getting rid of, you know, Western dominance, man. They're getting rid of this fiat currency. All right. And this whole global system is going to switch to a digital currency. And we when we see that, that's why your power stations are being attacked, your substations. That's why your processing plants are being attacked. All right. These elites are bringing you people to your knees. All right. So you could bend your knee. All right. To the new system. You know, that's what the whole reparations is all about. You know what I'm saying? That now they want to give you all this money when the dollar is worthless. All right. But it's all it's all a agenda, though, man. You know, because they could use you. And I'm speaking about you. You so-called Negroes, man. All right. They could use you to bring about this digital system. You know, if, if you want this money, you know, if you want you know, uh, uh, $200,000, you know, however much the amount is, you know, you have to take this, this, this digital chip, you know, and a lot of you are going to take it. All right. Even though the warning is out, even though the profits are out there, you know, out on the highways and hedges, all your major cities. All right. Starting with our apostles of great millstone, our elders on down, you know, we're giving you that warning through the power and spirit of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. All right. Who the world eagerly calls God in Christ. All right. So the warning is out there. So we're going to get into some scriptures. I'm going to get into the great tribulation, get a couple of scriptures on that. Uh, I'm not going to read all the article. I'm just read, you know, get straight to the point. I'll put the link in the description box and um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So nearly half of us young adults are living at home, a high not seen since the great depression. They're helping fuel with luxury boom. Morgan Stanley analyst said living at home is freeing up their budgets and leaving them with more disposable income for spending yeah so that's what's going on uh, again you know what you should be doing you know seeing that we have all these these substations being attacked all right that could shut down the grid send you people back to the stone age a lot of you people are going to starve the death you know uh processing plants are being destroyed uh diesel prices are going up you know those trucks they deliver your food these stores have at least like what three four days worth of food on hand you know what I'm saying? So what you should be doing that disposable income, you should be buying solar, buying gear, food, 
You see what I'm saying? Seeds, plant, all right? <laughs> you know, but uh, of course, you know, the average person, their mind is far from that. You know, let's go ahead and get this scripture real quick. I have this. I was looking at this before I uh, started the video, Hebrews 11 and 7. All right, so check this out. So this represents the men that are in this truth, the initiated ones, all right, that have received the warning from the Most High. So, so Hebrews 11 and 7, by faith, Noah being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet. So we're being warned as well. You know, we know that all these events, you know, we, we, I mean, it's pretty much here, you know, it's just going to intensify. It's going to get worse. You see what I'm saying? So it says being warned of the most high of things not seen as yet moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness of, which is by faith. And that's exactly what we do. You know, we're out, you know, the prophets, you know, we're out there, you know, we're also condemning the world. You know, how are we preparing? We're preparing, we're preparing first spiritually. Because going back to Isaiah 13, uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our time. So we're preparing first spiritually, then physically. You know, a lot of brothers do have uh, prep gear. A lot of brothers do have gear, you know, uh, solar panels, you know, generators, you know, extra food saved up. You know, you don't have to go crazy, you know, uh, like a doomsday prepper. All right. But we do have the warning. You know, Noah, he prepped. You know, it says it says uh, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. So Noah was a was a prepper. You know, he prepped, you know, that ark had to be filled with all types of food for him, him and his family to survive. He had to have gear on there to prepare uh, the, the prepares that need to be made inside the ship, outside the ship. You see that, you know, it just wasn't a bunch of animals in there in, in hay and, you know, and, and they were just sleeping on top of uh, uh, hay. <laughs> he, you know how these Bible uh, uh, movies depict it. You know, he had to have a lot of gear up in there, man. Different things, you know, wood, extra pieces of wood, tools. All right. So that's what we do. But first and foremost, the most important is he prepared spiritually, man. All right. Which is taking heed to this word. OK, so going back to the article. It says a record number of young adults in the U.S. are currently living at home and all that save rent is sparking a luxury boom. All right. So recent data from the U.S. Census Bureau shows that nearly half of young Amer Americans between the ages of 18 and 29 are living with their parents today. That's a historic high not seen since the Great Depression era. Morgan Stanley analyst, analyst wrote in a Friday note. So let's stop it right there. Let me pull up this Great Depression. Just. I don't know why the year escapes me exactly when it was, but that's what Google is for. So the Great Depression, economic depression. So the Great Depression was a period of worldwide economic depression between 1929 and 1939. All right. So that's when you had it. Um, you know, let me click on it. What is this? Okay, so it says, so 1929 and 1939, the depression became evident after a major fall in stock prices in the United States. The economic contagion, I'm saying that right, contagion, contagion began around September 1929 and led to the Wall Street stock market crash of October 24th, Black Thursday. The economic shock impacted most countries across the world in varying degrees. It was the longest, deepest, and most widespread depression of the 20th century. And we're coming right back into that because Ukraine Ukraine and Russia, they hold the largest number of grain. Ukraine, I think, is like 25% of the grain. All right. So as long as this war is going on, you know, there's going to be, there is famine, actually. There's famine in, in, in parts of Africa. All right. Uh, you, you got children starving to death, man. You see what I'm saying? So you do have a famine going on, you know, in the other parts of the world, man. These other nations, these other countries, I would say. Okay. People are dying of, of starvation, man. Okay. So this is what's going on. So that's the Great Depression. So let's go to, um, let's get a couple of scriptures. I'll go ahead and end it with this. Let's get the, let's start, let's start off with Matthews. Uh, let's see, Matthew 24. 21 for then shall be great tribulation 
such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever, ever shall be. So let's look up tribulation in the blue letter. All right, so tribulation. Let's play it. Strong's G, 2347. Thlipsis. 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 All right. So a pressing, pressing, a pressing, pressing together pressure. So there, so a lot of pressure is being put on you, on your pockets. That's why you're moving back home. You, you see what I'm saying? And being a dumbass, all right, and just taking that extra money and splurging, man. The scripture says a fool and his money is a big fucking party, man. You know, let me get that real quick. I mean, it doesn't say it just like that. I'm just, let me pull it up. Let's see, a fool. <laughs> you know, you people, man. You know, all praise to Habashim Yahweh man, that, you know, that, that we have the warning, man. You know, the Lord, you know, he only deals with a few. Okay, let's see, where is it at? It's, it's a fool and his money are soon to part, but I'm not, let's see, I'm looking for the actual scripture. It's not giving it to me. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Proverbs uh, 21 and 20. Hold on, let me put this in here. And boy, I've been seeing this a lot lately with people. All right. All right. Um, this is a good one. So Proverbs 21 and 20. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise. All right. Speaking about us, you know, we have that oil, which is this truth. All right. Our treasures are in heaven. All right. The Lord, the fear of the Lord is our treasure. All right. But a foolish man spendeth it up. He that followeth at the righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness, and honor. A wise man scaleth the city of the mighty and causeth and casteth down the strength of the confidence thereof. So that's a that's a good one as well. All right. Let's see. Yeah, so um I'll look for the other scripture. It, it'll come to me. Well, will and I do a video, um, you know, evolving around that scripture. But let's get back to this. So oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress. All right. And that's exactly what's coming upon you people. Let, let's go back up a little bit. You know, Matthew's 24 and. Um, you know, let's let's start at. um. Let's start at five, you know, build it up a little bit. Matthew 24 and five for many shall come in my name saying I am a Mashiach and shall deceive many. And we're seeing that going on right now. You know, um, you know, you got these other groups out here, you know, calling on Christ. That's not his name. All right. So many are deceived. OK, but the Lord said that he would send them strong delusion. So the deceiver and the deceive, you know, are the Lord's are the Lord's. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. That's, you know, that's been going on Ukraine, Russia. You know, China, North Korea, South Korea, Taiwan, you know, it's all going on. See that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes and diverse places, diverse places. And we're seeing that going on, going on uh, all over the world, even here in America. All right. All these are the beginning of sorrows. OK, so all these different events that are going on, you know, we're in that recession. All right. You people haven't seen nothing yet. That's why they're attacking your substations are attacking these these uh, uh, processing plants. You know, we're in the beginning of sorrows. All right. That tribulation, that great tribulation is, is definitely brewing up. All right. So let's go back to. Um. Yeah, so um, I'm going to read it again. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. So let me, we're going to come back. Let's get Daniel's real quick. We'll come back to Matthew, uh, Daniel 12 and 1. 
at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince. So that's the that's the uh, the archangel. All right, Michael, he he who is like the Most High. All right, the great prince which stand up for the children of thy people, which is who you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But who is who, who Michael is going to stand up for the elect, man? All right, because the rest of you are 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 just heathen. That's how the Lord looks at you as heathens. The Lord doesn't recognize you as his people in the times that we're in right now. That's why two thirds of you are going to be cut off and die. Right? The Lord is not coming back to save everybody. You see, that's why these false prophets out there, that's basically what they're telling you. You know, John 316 prophets, the Lord is just going to save all of uh, 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 Jake. All right. Only 144 are going to be saved. Going back to Revelation 7. You know, you have a whole slew of other scriptures, man. You know, John, he saw the elect being crowned. Ezra, he saw the elect being crowned. All right. Which both of them were in were in that uh that crowd. All right. Because John, the revelator, he would be a part of the elect. You know, Ezra, of course, he would be a part of the elect. All right. So it says, um, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that time. It's like it even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book you see that and again that, that just goes back to the elect all right so let's go back to uh, matthew and we'll go ahead and finish it out so matthew uh, 24 we're just going to jump around a little bit the whole chapter is uh fire so Matthew's 24 and, and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So is everybody the elect? Is, is all of Israel the elect? No, not in this time. The Lord is only dealing with 144 and their families, the one third. Two thirds have to be cut off and die. 66.6%. And you see that demonic number. A lot of you have the spirit of Satan on you, man. You're going to bow the knee to the system and be destroyed. 33.3%, the one third will be delivered. All right. Whoever the Lord has mercy upon, man. The Lord said he will have mercy upon who he will have mercy upon. All right. So this is all for the elect. For the elect's sake. All right. Well, Will and I do a separate video just going into that. You know, that this the Lord is only coming back for the elect. Okay. And um let's see uh see look at uh twenty four for there shall arise false Christs, you see that, and false prophets, and, and we see that, all right, and shall show great signs and wonders. <laughs> you see that like, you know, you got all this marching going on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, this you know, Nate putting his men in danger, man. The times that we in, and all these hate crimes that are going on. Can, can y'all stop a bullet? <laughs> so false prophets and show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And it's not possible. Second Corinthians uh, 2 and 11. You know, we're not ignorant to Satan's devices. You know, we understand what's going on. You know, it's just a big psyop, man. All right. But it all goes back to the Heavenly Father. He controls the minds of men. Okay. So let's go ahead and end it out with uh, 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. 30. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. In a lot of these camps, man, they don't even go into scriptures like this. You know, it's just about building this whole Israelite community, you know, the new church, the new Christian church. You know, forget about the Lord coming back. Let's let's just keep putting off the evil day. Let's put off the great tribulation, the Jacob's trouble, you know, and just focus on uh, the, the history of Israel and, and the biblical stories. You know, forget about the prophecies, you know, uh, the white man being the devil, you know, or Revelations 12 and 12. You know, these are the things that these these other camps do not speak about. Which entails, it shows that they're false prophets. Going back to Ezekiel uh, 33 and 33. You see that? When it's coming to pass. 
All right. So I just wanted to, um, you know, do a video on this, you know, basically just showing, you know, how America is, is finished. This place is on a decline. You know, you people, you're not preparing for what's to come. Um, you know, that's why they create these zombie movies, you know, because pr pretty much the zombie represents you people, the unprepared. All right. And the ones that are shooting you zombies <laughs> are the ones are the preppers that have prepared. You know, we're not going to be shooting the damn no one. You know, we're, we're waiting for that spiritual power, man. All right. We're, we're spiritual, not carnal. So I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaqadas. The next video, Shalom.